All right, if you have a look at the monitor over here, you're going to see that I am running a fresh install of Arch Linux. And there is a new utility out in the wild, which makes it very simple for you to install Arch Linux with a graphical user interface. This is called Furch, and we're going to see it right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. I've got my virtual machine opened up here, and we're going to go ahead and start messing with this. First, we're going to select to a boot a perch. And then once everything is loaded in, uh, we have a little readme file here, and uh, this is like a live disk. Uh, it's small enough to fit on a CD, and it has an XFCE desktop, pretty much with all the utilities and tools you may need to manually make your own partitions using Gparted and that sort of thing. But the thing is, I wanted to test this for ease of use and user friendliness, so I just went with the default setup. Okay, and uh, I couldn't believe how well this works. Amazing piece of software indeed. But the thing is, if you can look at the readme file here. It'll give you instructions for uh, setting a configuration file for adding additional packages should you want them. But I'm just going to go with the plain default setup. So we're just going to run the uh, Virch installer here. And this is going to open up a program called Sinchi. Okay, and then once we have this open, you can exit live DVD, you can use the CLI installer, or you can go with the graphical installer. And of course, we're going to use the graphical installer. You'll choose your language. And of course, we want English, United States. Okay, we have three gigs of storage space connected to a power source connected to the internet. Looks just like the Ubuntu installer, doesn't it? Okay, and then you can choose different installation types. You can go with a base install. So this is great for those of you who just can't get your head wrapped around um, installing everything. You can do a base install and then manually install packages to just get you over that hurdle. You can choose Cinnamon as a desktop. You can choose GNOME. LXDE, OpenBox, or my personal favorite, the XForms Common Environment, lovingly known as XFC. <laughs> All right. So, uh, but it doesn't look like this when you install it. You just get a default setup, as you'll see here in a moment. All right. So we're going to go forward here with this. Okay. And then you can choose some different options that you may want to have on this. So maybe you want to have that firewall installed. Maybe you want to have uh, printing support, Bluetooth support, the LibreOffice suite, or other proprietary software. So this is where you can actually set up those preferences should you decide that you want them. Let's go ahead and move forward. It's telling us what rules it's going to use for the uncomplicated firewall. All right. Uh, what I did was I just let the installer make the decision for me to erase the disk and install Arch. Or if you want to, you can manually adjust your partitions here. I just went with the default setting just to test the user friendliness of this. The drive will be erased. Of course, install that now. Okay, and then, of course, we want to uh, go back here because uh, I kind of went through that fast. It's telling me I'm in the New York time zone. That's what we want. All right, USA with the keyboard layout, fine. Okay, let's spaz me. And we're going to call this uh, Archbox. Arch V-Box. <laughs> and then we'll spaz me again. Now let's put in a very difficult password. And of course, let's log in automatically. All right, go for it. Yeah, that was a very difficult password. And then, of course, you know, you did get a little bit of a slideshow going here. But to be honest with you, you know, this isn't very pretty, but it's effective. And by the way, FERCH stands for uh, for Average Users of Arch. You know, when I first saw the name, I thought it meant Read Between the Lines, Arch. <laughs> F-U. <laughs> but actually, for Average Users of Arch. So this is a great 
installer. For those of you who already know how to use Arch, you just want to get past that hurdle of uh, manually typing everything into the command line, that sort of thing. Uh, but if you're actually new, 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 and you've never used Arch before, probably be a good idea to at least do a base install yourself. Because by using utility like this, you're missing out on all the great learning that that you receive from uh, building Arch yourself. Okay, after this is in finished installing, we'll go ahead and reboot the system. Okay, now we are logged in after a reboot, and here is your standard XForms common environment uh, set up with all the default things and that sort of thing. And let's go ahead and have a see uh, what uh, the latest uh, kernel is. So we'll you name dash R this thing. And it helps to spell it correctly. And we're running 313.7 TAC1. Uh, cool stuff indeed. And, of course, you can easily configure this. Now, the thing is, though, this does not have out-of-the-box support for Yaourt. So, if you want to install packages from the AUR, you got to read the documentation. And that's something about Arch that's very, very, very important. You need to read the Arch Wiki uh, to get the most out of this. Because I'm not going to be covering how to install uh, any helpers for the Arch user repository. This just gets you a base system with a desktop installed or any of the other options as discussed earlier. But you're going to have to read through the docs to get more info. All right, if you have any comments on this, please be sure to visit my forum at cupoflinux.com. We've had a complete remodel of the website. And uh, any comments that come in uh, on the forum definitely get my attention with uh, all the videos I have up on YouTube. It's impossible for me to keep up with comments there. So definitely use the forum if you really, really, really want to uh, get my attention. I'm also going to have this video posted there on the forum. And, of course, that is where you can also place any requests or any questions that you want to have appearing in future episodes of Spatry's Inbox. As a reminder, please consider supporting the show hosts who are bringing the content you enjoy the most by disabling your ad blockers or shouting some coins. Peace out! Mm -hmm.